Hi YouTube, I'm Mywin. Welcome back to one of my auto repair videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove and replace the airbag, uh, well, the steering wheel airbag for a Honda Accord 2003 to 2007. First off, you should make sure that you disconnect the battery uh, for at least uh, 20 minutes since the airbag can be activated by current. So, in our case, we don't have to disconnect the battery since this car has been sitting for around a year and the battery is probably not even working, but we disconnected it anyway. Since we already disconnected it, we can already get to it. So on the bottom of the steering wheel, uh, you, want, you, want, you want to turn the steering wheel so you can see it better. On the bottom of the steering wheel, there should be this sort of ridge right here. And there is a notch that you can insert a flathead screwdriver into and pry it out. So just pry it open. And then you want to remove the cover. Uh, the way I learned how to do it is you have to press against the back and then pull it down. So at this step, it should be a bit easier. So first off is to disconnect the these two black pieces right here. And these are really simple. You just uh, press on the buttons right here. I'm not sure if you can see them. One, two. And just disconnect them. So easy as that. Now the second one is for the airbag itself, these yellow ones. So we're going to take it out here just so, so I can get a bit better angle. So the way to disconnect these two, it's actually really fairly unique. You have to pull this down. It's sort of like a clamp actually. Pull it down and then now you're able to disconnect them. So this mechanism is actually pretty cool. I've not seen it with any of the other clips. They usually use a uh, button mechanism. This one's cool. So we've disconnected the wires and now we can move on to the next step. On either side of the airbag, there are two star shaped holes and they correspond to a star socket. This is a T30. So we're going to take two of them out, one on this side and one on this side. So we want to turn the wheel so that you can get a better look and so you can get a better angle. You're going to want to take a ratchet wrench, a extension, and the T30 socket. You want to insert it. If you see it. Uh, I don't want to block your view though. Sorry about that. So now, right, now I can take it out. It's a bit hard to do with your this angle and so that you can see it, but enough elbow grease, you should be able to take it out. It's not locking on. You can tell when it's not locked on when the ratchet's not ratcheting. If you have something like this, a power tool, we have a cordless impact driver. It's certainly gonna make the job easier. So. All right, so now you're gonna turn the wheel all the way to the other side, and as you can see, we've already done that. Now you want to do the same exact thing, but on this side with the other screw. So I'm going to make sure it's angled correctly and inserted. Make sure it's spinning the right way. All right, so once the screws are out, it's really easy actually. You just Take it out. So I'm gonna pull it towards me. Okay, let's see. Ooh, so this is what the airbag looks like. I've actually never, I've actually never stopped to think what an airbag mechanism looks like. Actually, it looks way smaller than I thought it would. So the way it deploys is I guess current is delivered and that causes the airbag to inflate and then it just causes it to pop off. As always, installation is just like removal, but in reverse. So first we're going to put it on. So make sure that you put the wires through this hole right here, where the cover is gonna go. So right here. So loop it through. And then you're going to want to put the airbag on. Since we just pried it out of place, you can just push it in and it should lock in place. Now, I'm gonna have to angle it a bit, but now you can connect the wires. So make sure that they go in the right place. So the, the flat prong should go into the flat hole. I'm not sure if it goes further, but then you're going to want to put it in its place. So if I recall correctly, it goes in this spot. And then, huh, okay, so 
I know the clamp has a special way of removing it, but do you have to use the clamp when you're putting it back in? Okay, it looks like you do. So pull the clamp down, lock it in place, let go of it, and as you can see, it's attached. So we're going to put it back in its place. Well, to be honest, this the installation is actually fairly simple. Uh, probably don't need to show it, but last step, uh, actually second last step is put the bolts back on. But you could also put the cover back on. Since we pried it out, it just it should just lock in place. So okay, and uh, you might need to rotate the steering wheel if you want to put the bolts in, but. Just put the bolts in, so uh, I'm not sure we need to show anyone. Now we're taking this car apart, so we're also going to do some videos on uh, moving the handle, the the sun visor, the door panel. If you're interested, so go check them out if you want to. Uh, and I'll see you then. So thanks for watching. If you like, or comment, subscribe. We've got our videos on I and Iman, especially the outdoor repair videos, and like I said, taking this car apart videos. And uh, I'll see you next time. Signing out. Peace.